What's going on YouTube? What's going on everybody? This is Ken with Ken Long Care on a Budget. Hey, before we get started, make sure you subscribe, click the like button, and uh, you can follow us on Instagram at Ken Long Care on a Budget. Um, all right, guys, let's get right into it. Uh, what you see I got going on, I just got to finish cutting my front yard. Got the sprinkler going on. I got my organic fertilizer in there. Um, this time of the year, I know a lot of people are not trying to uh, hit their lawn with a lot of fertilizer, particularly when it comes down to uh, nitrogen. But I uh, got my soil test back, and uh, I have to hit mine. I have a nitrogen deficiency in my yard. Uh, cut down a tree that, that could be particularly why. Also, uh, again, my soil test said that I needed to put down nitrogen um, um, pretty much this whole summer. So uh, I'm going to be doing that a lot. So again, I know a lot of people, if you follow a lot of other people, they're probably saying, hey, not the time to push growth, uh, put a lot of nitrogen down. But um, for my particular yard, I have to. Um, but that's not why we're here today. What we're here today is to talk a little bit about this right here. Um, if you follow me a couple weeks ago, I did post a video of some, uh, some stuff you can spray for grubs and things of that nature and what not to use. Um, but this particular product is one I featured in that particular video. Um, this is the Cutter Backyard Bud Control. Um, what I'm using this particular product for is right here. Zoom back. Killing mosquitoes, ants, and fleas. Um, this particular product kills a lot. And again, they can also use this particular product to kill grubs too. But that's not what I'm using it for today. I'm using it for um, mosquitoes, ants, and fleas. Um, and particularly because it's hot, guys. It's hot. And you know, when your yard and is you on your yard, you definitely want to you know, give it a little bit more height to push out that, you know, because the heat scratch and all that stuff, you're going to mow it a little high. And what comes when you mow your yard a little high is mosquitoes and ants. Um, so I'm gonna be pushing this, putting this product down uh, later on today um, to spray for that. I wanna go over a little bit this product. I wanna talk a little bit about what you can do with this particular product. Um, it says, one thing I wanna, I wanna make sure you guys know, this particular product, you wanna put it down when you know, temperatures are at the lowest. Uh, so, it, you know, in the evening, you know, the sun go down, or early in the morning, uh, it's the best time to use this particular product. Sorry about that, guys. I had to step away for a second. My uh, product starting to leak. Uh, but as I was stating at first, um, you want to definitely uh, use this product. Uh, at night so you are or in the evening so early in the morning so you don't want to put this down when it's too hot you want to put it down when these particular insects particularly mosquitoes uh, are at their best and that's later on in the evening uh, close to late at night but uh, this particular product can cover up to 5,000 square feet um, this particular product I think I paid $9.99 for it I'm not particularly sure uh, don't quote me on that guys I don't know for sure uh, Here's our here's a list of things. This list of in, uh, insects. This particular thing kills. As you can see, grubs, ant fleas, uh, uh, mosquitoes, side worms, etc. It kills all of that. Uh, but one thing it does not kill, guys, is termites. So I got a question about that. And last time when I post that video, it, it asks, "Do it kill termites?" It does not kill termites, but it does kill all the other bugs listed. Um, and there's a lot. If you get this particular product, there's a whole little pamphlet back here um, it talks about you know when to kill what to kill and all that stuff uh, in particular guys you want to make sure you put your hand this down at night I told I, in the last video I did I told you guys that you can spray your scrubs uh, shrubs with this particular video those of you in Florida you can spray your pine trees or your uh, your anything that you got particularly you can spray this particular thing uh, product with definitely want to make sure um, before you let any kids or pets back in, in your yard that it's particularly dry as you know pets like to sniff around in the yard you don't want any of them getting sick and, and again guys it's, it's just a regular hose you put it to your water hose and you just start spraying back and forth that's all that's pretty much what you got to do and guys um, don't want to over apply this product it's not going to do anything to your lawn but you definitely don't want to over apply uh, this particular product 
but it, you know you definitely want to make sure you get it soaked get it wet and not to the point where it's you know you there's a puddle but you definitely want to make sure you, your, your yard is completely it's, it's wet when this product is down and then no puddles just wet um again guys this particular product i'm gonna use it for uh, ants and uh, mosquitoes but you can use it for shrubs if you want to but if you're going to use it for that you got to make sure you water it um, so if you are particularly trying to use it for shrubs you got to make sure you water it in I'm not today because I'm not using it for that particular reason uh, I did do my front yard but I did uh, last night I did not do my backyard I actually cut my grass last night or uh, yesterday ran out of gas so I had to go and get some more so um, as this temperature drops, I'm gonna put this particular product on my uh, in my backyard. I'm not gonna do it right now because it's kind of still kind of hot. Um, just trying to think of what else I want to tell you guys about this particular product. Oh, um, this right here, you will have to apply this every 14 to 21 days. So um, I know that's gonna be, that's a little cost benefit for a lot of you. So um, there are other products out there you can apply every 30 days, or maybe every two months. Uh, that kills. That kills. Uh, if you go to do my do my own .com, you can find that. But they require mixing, mixing, mix, mixing. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, I, I particularly, you know, for this particular reason, don't like to mix it. I just get this particular product and hook it up to my water hose and start spraying. But again, there are other products out there that you can get uh, that require you to mix it. So with this one, you don't. You can just go out there and do it. Now I am going to get one uh, particular product from Do My Own lawn it kills a whole lot more um, insects than this does but the one particular reason i am going to get it is because it kills termites so um, i'm going to do a video on that and i'm going to do a video on mixing that particular product and i'll show you guys that as i as that time comes it's, it's probably not going to be until next year when i get a chance to do that um somebody asked me if i don't use this particular product for scrub for, uh, for grubs what do i use it for uh, what can they use for grubs uh, i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to use for grubs uh, this right here is what I'm going to be putting on my yard. Um, probably in a couple of couple, maybe a week or two from now, I'm going to use this particular product for grubs. So you can get that, and you can use it for grubs. Um, that's when I'm going to water that down and uh, put that on there. But again, guys, this particular product you're going to have to put it down every. Uh, every uh, 10 to 14 days. Um, so you wanna make sure you're doing that. Um, you're gonna, you know, I guess you're gonna apply this maybe you know, four times, or four or five times throughout the summer, probably less than that. Um, but it's not gonna hurt your lawn. You can use it for fall, I mean for, uh, for cool season grass or warm season grass. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, so yeah, that's about it guys. We wanna make sure you also wear protection when you're using this because it's a chemical so just don't go out there and start spraying and not cover yourself up so again it's a chemical dress appropriately make sure you use it again uh, I know it says kills up to 12 weeks but the, the direction says you want to put this down every uh, uh, 10 to 14 days I think that's what it says I know 14 days for sure 14 to 21 days maybe something like that uh, but I know you want to make sure you put this down at least twice a month um, so, um, and I, the reason I said that, that many times before is because you're really supposed to start using this in the spring. Um, so, I'm, I haven't started using it yet. I just started, so I'm going to put this particular product down maybe three three times. Um, again, because I use something else for grubs. But, yeah, you're supposed to put this down um, quite a few times throughout the spring and summer months, guys. Uh, so with that, again, you can, I have I have shrubs right here. I sprayed them last night. You can spray this particular product on it. It won't hurt it at all. Um, again, dress appropriately. It kills mosquitoes. So if you got a place in, your, in my backyard, is got some low spots that I got to get level out. Mosquitoes love to hide in those low spots. So walk in your grass to tear you up. Um, so again, guys, we're not going to... To try to, I wanted to keep this video short, but I ran over my time that I really wanted to, to keep it at. But um, if y'all have any questions, please um, you know, ask some questions in the comments. Uh, you can email me. Um, follow me on Instagram. I get questions from there. I post the majority of my stuff there. Still got my zoom in. 
my purely organic lawn food. I just put that on my front yard out here. Uh, again, I need some nitrogen, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, this is the time of year most people are not trying to get, get a lot of growth. They're, they're doing their morning grass high. So guys, keep your grass mow a little high. Not too high, but high. Uh, that'll help out with the uh, with the uh, with the summer with the summer heat. Also, make sure you water your lawn. Can't stress that enough. It's hot. Grass need water just like you do. You want to make sure you're getting down that inch of water uh, per area. Um, there's some videos out there. A lot of people doing, particularly showing you what you can use to get uh, an inch of water down in your lawn. The most common thing is to get an empty tuna can and, and just sit it in the area and see how long it takes to get that water down. So, guys, I just want to make sure y'all, uh, you know, keeping your lawn healthy, doing whatever you need to do. Let's make this summer the best summer ever. Get the lawn green, get the lawn thick, and uh, so you can dominate anybody. As you can see, my neighbor, he's dominating, but he's been here for a while. Uh, I've been helping him out too, so yeah. I'm gonna show you one last thing, guys. I'm gonna show you what you don't want to do. For those of you who got hire people, I'm sorry for yelling if I did. For those of you who hire people to come and do your lawn, uh, remember, guys. They <laughs> I hate to say it like this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. They're doing it for money. They're not really doing it for love. Some people not. But in this particular yard, the people came out yesterday and was doing the yard. I don't know if y'all can see it in the video. Just completely tore up this yard. It's for rent. And I know the people who's renting are not here to see it, but oh my God, they just, you know, you don't need a big heavy lawn more riding more for a small space. And these people are doing it quick. Trying to get turn the buck. Don't really care how the yard look. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it just look horrible. I'll try to shoot another video to show y'all how it look. But again, guys, this is Ken. Please like this video. Ken Long Care on a Budget. I'm gonna get back into my yard. And um, please like this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm gonna go in here and try to finish up my lawn, guys. Alright, y'all have a good one. Thanks. Peace.